Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and welcome to my vlog, which today is going to be about, this being the 1st of November, NaNoWriMo, or the National uh, Novel Writing Month, which is really an international one, so I guess they should change the name really, but anyway, that's not going to happen. So I'm afraid I'm not actually going to do NaNoWriMo. Uh, I would love to, I would love to be part of that, it'd be a great thing to do, but I am... Um, only a few thousand words away from finishing my latest uh, Darkling Stone novel and then I've got some edits coming in from the previous novel and so I'm going to have to go through all those and get that um, republished, reissued uh, and then I'm going to have to start rewriting the one I've just finished because that's what you got to do when you finish writing your first draft you've got to do it all again and again and again so um, really as much as I'd love to do it I just can't find the time to work on my novels that I've got ongoing and start another project. So I did want to take this opportunity though to say good luck and well done to everybody starting today. So fantastic. Um, go for it. That was a bit cheesy, wasn't it? I probably won't do that again. No. Okay, <laughs> just uh, go for it. Um, and I thought I'd go through some um, totally spurious advice now on uh, all the things that you're going to need. Uh, to get you going. The first thing obviously you're going to need is a, a vintage um, typewriter as you can see there on, on the back obviously that's uh, I won't go and pick it up because although it's portable it's um, kind of very old and uh, their idea of portable was make it out of cast iron and make it as heavy as possible so I won't go and get that. Um, obviously you'll need to have um, a pair of these um, fitted so the first thing you need for NaNoWriMo is some glasses to make you look intelligent. You can't possibly be a writer unless you have them. And an important note is you mustn't look through them at any point. Put them on your nose just here. Yes, good point. Um, okay, so a bit expensive, but go to your optician and, and have those. Um, obviously, what writer could be complete without stupid headwear of some sort? I recommend a fedora. Um, this is a, I think this is what this is, and you know, make sure you do that. And then you can sit around and go, hmm, okay, so I'm thinking a lot. Stare into space. An hour, maybe two hours a day would be good for that. Um, you know, wear it, whatever. Even sleep in it, I would say. Um, I bought this in a rather good hat shop in York. Um, obviously, if you're watching from America or somewhere, that's, that's a transatlantic air airfare you'll need to make. So, uh, made by Christie's of London. It's very, very nice. Just make sure you get the proper one. You know, imitations are simply not acceptable. Um course you'll need, I've got all this stuff ready, can you tell? Uh, of course you'll need uh, one of these, this is a gold tipped uh, fountain pen in a sort of tortoiseshell if, tortoise shell effect. You need one of those, so go and get one of those immediately please. And because all your ideas are very special and very magical and wonderful, you need a special book to put them in. This one's made out of a cheap plastic imitation which I've noticed people are calling pleather for some reason these days, but you know, go and buy a real one uh, made out of some sort of uh, buckskin or something like that. You know, expect to pay hundreds of pounds and preferably have it monogrammed in gold on the front. And then when you've got all those things, uh, the fedora, the glasses, the special pen, the ancient typewriter and so on, um, you can start. Um, and if it's taking you till November the 29th, you know, you're going to have to write very quickly to catch up. So, you know, be warned. Maybe you should have bought these things earlier. I don't know why you didn't think. Preparation, really. I, I blame you. I think really, had you prepared, you know, with your typewriter and stuff, like I have, you know, fine. But of course, as I as I said, joking aside, that's, uh, these are all stupid, nonsensical things. I mean, you know, maybe you feel you have to have a special place or a special routine or something. We do kind of cling on to these superstitions as writers and, um, and it is all absolutely nonsense. What it is going to be is lots of hard work. So the things you are going to need is actually nothing to do with these magical things but it will be things like support from family and friends uh, and understanding and you know try and get them on board early on because uh, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of your time during most days I would think during November so I know I'm often in here writing away and you know, there are other things I probably should be doing and I do try and make time, but it's not always easy. So to balance the two, so try and get a support network going and tell your family and friends about it and get them to give you a, a, a G up every now and then. And part way through, you might kind of think, oh God, this is all awful, I'm going to give up. And at that point, it would be great to have somebody say, no, go on, you might as well finish the damn thing now you've started. So um, 
it's things like that, these ethereal things that, that you actually need. Um, I would say as well, you know, a pack of cheap biros and a, a big old pad because you have a lot of work to do and it's one thing to bash it all the way on the keypad, but there'll be other times when you just might be, I don't know, you're on a bus or you're waiting for an appointment or something and just having some paper and a pen handy, you could actually be getting on and scribbling some things down, you know, um, maybe if you're just kind of doodling around and thinking of a few ideas. Uh, you might have a little scrap of dialogue or something like that might occur to you and all this stuff is gold dust so to get that down so you know plenty of paper and pens just really cheap stuff and try and keep them to hand um, a special routine is great if you have the time which most of us probably don't if you've got like families and, and commitments and work commitments and things like that um, just try and grab the time when you can um, make sure that time that you've set aside to write and to be honest even a half hour period can be really valuable if you go for it you could probably write several hundred words in half an hour if you if you put your mind to it but make sure that time isn't spent sort of doing this and then hmm, yes, I shall think of something in a minute you know just just put something down even if it's rubbish because the important thing here is about finishing a draft as fast as possible so it doesn't really matter what you've got down you can go back and fix the spelling, you can fix the punctuation, you can fix the later. So that would be a really good recommendation to you. Just use that time. Uh, if your fingers aren't moving on a screen or um, on a bit of paper with a pen, then you know, you're kind of wasting time. So crack on. It's very easy to do. Um, and you're also going to need to do a bit of digital fasting. I find this is really good, actually. Just tell yourself you're not allowed to check your emails until you've done your writing or something like that you know you're not allowed to turn your phone on uh, you're not allowed to look at twitter or facebook or any of these other things until you've done your bit that you don't you need to do for the day and that's your treat or reward um treats and rewards are great i would have some of those lined up as well you know it might be that you do your writing and then you then you get to get your nice glass of wine and sit by the fire or whatever uh, you get to go and eat your chocolate cake or whatever. Something that you just got to look forward to that will keep you going. Um, this is again where, you know, family and friends and uh, other people can come in because they can be part of that. You know, perhaps you get to go out for a drink or something after you've done your bit of writing. That would be great. Something to look forward to. Um, I would say that is kind of it really it's actually very very basic what you need to write so the wonderful thing about it people have been doing this for thousands of years um, I believe for NaNoWriMo if you want to actually say you've won you have to paste it all up there so if you're doing that and it does mean typing it all up it's going to help you keep track of your word count then don't really think about using anything else except Scrivener um, yeah you can use Word if you up something that you've already got if you really don't want to spend any money but I believe there's a free trial of Scrivener which lasts a month, so that's perfect. So you don't really have to spend any, any money for that. Uh, but there is 20% off for participating, or you could do the free trial, and then I think you get 40% off through the nanorimo.org site. Um, I've had Scrivener for a while now, and it won't take you long just to get the basics. For a first draft, you only need the basics. You can learn the fancy pants bits of it later, can't you? So... You know, I wouldn't fork out any more than that. It, it's to be honest, Scrivener at full price is actually fantastic value. So to get even 20 percent off just, you know, I believe what our transatlantic coven, cousins call gravy. Apparently it's an extra bonus. Good stuff. So <laughs> my gravy is good. I like I'm, I'm a fan of gravy. Um, so <laughs> more recipes next week. First, chop an onion. No, um, what else can we say? That really is about it. And I will, I might try and check in with another sort of uh, encouraging video later on. Because the thing is, persistence. Persistence pays. I spent years sort of thinking about writing and starting things. And NaNoWriMo is very much about finishing things. So it should be finished at the end of it. You know, hit that 50,000. You are going to need to chuck out about 2,000 words a day, I would suggest. Um, 
that gives you, I know that works out at more than 50,000, but you're going to miss some days, aren't you? Or you're going to have some days where, you know, you, you have a cold or something, or you, I don't know, got to go to Helsinki for some reason. I don't know what you're going to do in Helsinki. Perhaps you're an international spy or something. I don't know. Um, where is Helsinki? So homework, find out where Helsinki is, please, and leave a comment below. And, um, you know, if not, somewhere similar like Reykjavik. Um, okay, um, starting to ramble a bit now, so I'll, I'll cut it off there. As you can tell, I'm not re-editing these things. I know jump edits and things are all very, uh, very fashionable and so on. Perhaps if I just move about occasionally, and you can pretend I've jump edited it. Okay, now back to the studio. Um, I'll cut it off there. Well done for starting Nano Rymo. I hope to be with you one of these years, um, if the timing is gonna be right. Just don't want to start it and then say after two days, oh no, it's no good, I've got other stuff to do. So good luck, crack on with it. Um, hope you've got some words cranked out today. If you haven't or if you just think they're total rubbish, it doesn't actually matter. What matters is that you don't let it get you down and that tomorrow you just pick up your pen or you get your keyboard out and you start again and you do it, you know, you carry on. Carry on from where you are always. You, know, you can edit it afterwards, just carry on and add more and more and hey presto soon the words will mount up okay keep writing keep tapping the keys keep scribbling and keep smiling uh, even if you're in Helsinki if you are hello hello <laughs> goodbye oh it hasn't stopped <laughs>